Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Findlay. I'm the director of the Division of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at University Hospital's Case Medical Center. I'm a professor of psychiatry and pediatrics at Case Western Reserve University. Now today, in this posting, I'll be talking a bit about issues pertaining to autism spectrum disorders and comorbid psychiatric conditions. Uh, I'll be really talking a lot about a paper by Simonoff and colleagues that was published in August's edition of the Journal of the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. Now, the whole topic of psychiatric comorbidities and autism spectrum disorders is very important for clinicians to consider. Now, besides the inherent and intrinsic uh, difficulties that youngsters with autism and autism spectrum disorders have, it's been reported uh, multiple times in the literature that these youngsters oftentimes also manifest uh, difficulties associated with other conditions as well. And the purpose of this paper was to look at a representative cohort of youngsters with autism and its related conditions and examine the rates at which psychiatric comorbidities occur in them. Now the patient population included in this study uh, consisted of 112 young people between the ages of 10 and 14 years of age with either autism or another pervasive developmental disorder. Now of these youths, uh, 62 of them had autistic disorder uh, precisely. Now, the authors found that approximately 70% of these young people had symptoms consistent with a concomitant psychiatric disorder. Now, that's quite a large number. Now, the most common disorders found in this group included social anxiety disorder, symptoms of oppositional defiant disorder, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. Now, a particular note is that 41% of these young people had two or more psychiatric disorders. Now, interestingly, of those with ADHD, almost 85% had a second psychiatric diagnosis. So in short, not only was comorbidity common, but multiple comorbidities were also common, particularly in young people who met symptom criteria for ADHD. Now, knowing that a young person may be suffering uh, from one or more comorbidities improves the possibility of providing better treatments. Now, however, the only way to identify these comorbidities is to actually look for them. Now, this paper, which shows how common symptoms of comor uh, comorbid conditions are in this patient population, really highlights the clinical relevance of doing a careful, thorough, and meticulous assessment for the possibility of symptoms of other psychiatric conditions when one is evaluating a youngster with autism or its related conditions. Now, please feel free uh, to comment on what I've talked about today. Simply click on the Discuss link button that's located beneath this video screen. I'm Dr. Robert Findlay, and I'd like to thank you for watching.